Let me try this again. Let me try throwing this fish again. One, two, three. Surely the hawk must have seen that. And there's also a kite flying overhead again. So that's the sound that we were hearing. Yeah, I see two kites over on the tree that's four houses away from me. But since the red-shouldered hawks are closer, I'm going to keep filming them. Yeah, I know. There's, there's kites up on that tree. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can film these kites here. Hang on a second. Are they still there? Yeah, they're still there. Okay, let me just take a quick walk. This will only take me a second. So I don't know if this kite is going to fly off as soon as I try to get closer. Probably. But I figure it's worth a try. Okay, so it's up on this tree right here. It's up on this tree. So I want to show you as soon as I can pass this other tree, which is blocking the view of the kite, it's up there. Yeah. There we go. Let's see, where is it? It's up there, yeah. So I just need to, oh, wait a minute, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. There we go, okay, better. far as my optical zoom will go. Yes, yeah, so there is a swallow-tailed kite, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what that is. As you can see, the tree is kind of swaying in just a little bit, so I have to adjust my tripod a little bit. 
Here we go. Okay. That's better. So, by the way, this isn't because of the wind or anything like that. It just happens to be swaying in the breeze. Yeah, it just can't seem to win on this footage here. There we go, okay. Yeah, what's nice is I can see this kite a lot better than the hawks because it's not facing the direction of the sun quite as much as the red shoulder hawks are. Wow, this kite's having a good time balancing himself on this tree branch here.